welcome to the channel and uh, today I'll be showing you another video of how to use the Excel sheets that are available on the website. The Excel sheet that we'll be dealing with today deals with the protective put which is um, a strategy that could be used uh, to show how derivatives can be applied for risk management practices. So uh, if you go to the website you will find a reading that mixes both covered call and protective put. Uh, it's related to level 1 and level 3 so it appears under both levels. And um, in the reading you will see that let's just move on here. You will see that protective put is nothing more than buying an underlying stack and buying a put option. So in general, a buyer of a put option who doesn't own the underlying stack would be forced to when when the stack is exercised to go and buy the uh, stack and then deliver it to the writer of the put option. This won't be the case if the buyer has originally really bought the stack already. And in this case, there is a limited downside potential and the upside potential is unlimited. If you want more details about when to use this strategy and specific points about how this strategy is used, you can refer to the reading that's on the website or that's posted uh, in the link below the video. For now, we will move on to show you how the Excel sheet that's available under the Excel sheet level 1 and Excel sheet level 3 tab on the website can be used to value or to solve questions related to protective button. So, if a put option is available with a strike price of £22 on a stock that's currently trading at £20 with a premium of £1, so you can buy this option if you pay uh, £1. For an investor purchasing a protective put, find the value of expiration of the price is £18, find the profit at expiration of the price is £18, find the maximum profit, find the maximum loss, and find the break-even price. If you go to the Excel sheet that's uh, on the website and you click on protective put, all that you'll have to do is to enter the information that you just have. So we have a stock price at initiation of £20. We have the premium to be £1 and the strike price to be 22 and the sorry the stock price at expiration to be £18. Here we go. That's the summary of the results showing you the value of expiration, the profit, the maximum profit, the maximum loss, and the break-even price. And then this graph shows you the value and the profit for different stock prices, which is again consistent with the graph that you see over here. This is it about protective put. If you have any questions, please make sure to email me on the website. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to follow us on the website to get notified about each new post that gets posted. And make sure also to follow us on all our social networks, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, to be able to participate in the daily CFA trivia. Thank you for listening, and have a good day.